Okay, students, today we continue with the reproduction topic. And today, in this session, we continue to plan reproduction. Now, just like anything, as you can read from this sentence here, just like any other living things, plants also need to reproduce uh, to ensure their survival so they don't get extinct. Eh? So all living things will undergo growth and finally die, they have to replace by new organism. So being replaced by new organism means the process of uh, reproduction. Okay, now just to recap a little bit, uh, recall. Reproduction of plants can be sexual or asexual as you already learned in section 4.1. In the asexual reproduction mode, it reproduces through uh, spore formation or vegetative reproduction. Now, vegetative reproductions, as you can see from here, they can take place using the roots, stems, and leaf. Huh? So these are the important parts of the plants that can produce uh, asexual. Huh? Asexual reproductions. So we will not talk more about this now because we, in this topic, we are going to talk about the uh, sexual reproduction of plant. Now, if you also recall, for sexual reproduction of plant, you will require. Remember, you have to have the male, and you must have the female, which means there will be two parents involved here: a male and female. Now in plant, how do we tell male and female? Uh, but we of course we don't do that first. We look at the organs of uh, reproduction in plants, which is actually the flower. You see? The reproductive organs of flowering plants are actually the flower. And this is a flower diagram taken from your textbook. Immediately are you aware that you can see that this flower actually has male and female? Ah. Where is the male? Ah, the male is here. This is the male part. And the male contains the anther and the filament. Now, later we look at the functions huh? of each of them. And the female here is this part. It contains the uh, stigma, style, and ovary ovule. It's called the pistil. Huh? pistil. Uh, stamen uh, is known as the male reproductive organ. Other than that, uh, normal flowers also have petals, uh, usually colorful to attract insects and animals. Uh, then you have the sepal, which is actually here, the leaf, a uh, green color, um, usually in green and color, yeah, usually green in color and protect the flower during the bud stage even before the flower open up. So these are the parts of the flower and you have been introduced to the male and the female uh, sections. Now, very important for students is you must know what are the functions uh, of the flower. Okay, so we see the uh, stamen. The stamen, this is the male part of the flower which and each of consists of Another held up by the uh, filament. So this filament is to support the uh, to support. You can see the filament here. So the filament here is to help up or to support the anther. Uh, the anther here. So the whole thing here is called stamen. And what is the anther doing? Uh, the anther produce male sex cells, which is actually called the pollen grains. Uh. Okay. That is the male part. If you look at the female part, we have the stigma, the ovary. And the stigma here is the top part of the flower which collect pollen grains. So let's look at the stigma. Uh, here, this is the stigma. Uh, it's at, on top. Huh? This is the topmost part of the female part of the flower. And then you have this uh, so ovary. The ovary produces the female sex cell which contains the ovules. Now, of course, the ovary uh, produces the ovule, and the ovule here has the female uh, sex cells here, uh, or sex uh, gametes, uh, I can say, or uh, the gamete cells. Uh. Uh, and then the style, uh, if you look at it logically, the style is basically supporting the stigma, uh, hold up the stigma, just like the filament 
it holds up the anthem. Now, not what is not shown here is actually the nectari. Uh, nectari from the word you can see nectar produce a sugary solution called nectar which attract insects. Huh? So this is an important function. I think you see why. So the nectari normally is located here. Huh? So it's not um, it's not shown here in your text, but usually you know uh, somewhere at the bottom uh, of the ovary. Okay, so this is the part of the flowers which is actually the reproductive, reproductive organs of the plant. Uh, and these are the functions. Now we look at the next part is uh, to be aware that uh, there are different types of flowers. You have the unisex flower or unisexual, which is actually you can divide into male or female, just like going to the toilet, male toilet, female toilet. So same thing here. A male flower and female flower. Example of that is a papaya plant. Or we have the bisexual. Bisexual means you find the female and the male. Uh, this is a male. Uh, this is a female in one flower. So that one flower contains both male and female. So this is called bisexual. Example, uh, our national flower hibiscus is actually a bisexual flower. Okay, 